across now, viewers, to some breaking updates that we are picking up this time from the state of Kerala, where the CPIM-led LDF coalition convener E.P. Jai Rajan has is in fact all set to resign on allegations of the graft charges. Now, the allegations have been made by another tall Kanur leader, P. Jai Rajan, and we are also learning that the BJP is stating that. ED must in fact investigate into the graft allegations that have been made uh, against E.P. Jayarajan as well. And uh, Congress in fact has also demanded a judicial investigation into this matter as well. Now this uh, comes days after the Kerala CPIM resolved to fight against the degeneration and wrong tendencies among the party cadre. Now a senior party leader from Kanur, P. Jayarajan, has upped the ante and has said that who won't mend their ways would not remain in the party. So this are, these are big developments, big political developments when it comes to the state of Kerala that we are picking up for you viewers. As far as the CPIM-led coalition is con concerned, where the convener, E.P. Jairajan, in fact, is all set to resign now since we had seen even yesterday where several leaders, in fact, had been making those kind of statements and had stated that, in fact, there was a resolve to fight against the de degeneration and wrong tendencies among the party cadre as well. Let me also bring in my colleague Ashwin from Kerala, who's been uh, tracking this story very closely. Ashwin, uh, good morning to you. Speak to us uh, a little bit about the kind of uh, political friction that is going on there in the state of Kerala when it comes to uh, this particular, these particular graft charges that have been levelled against the convener as well. What has been the reaction? What are the charges? Speak to us a little bit about this entire uh, uh, political development in Kerala. Uh, well, uh, what has essentially happened is that uh, the CPM uh, State uh, Secretary, M.V. Govindan, a few days ago had stated that the party will not tolerate any kind of corruption by its members, followed by which the, one of the biggest allegations that has come out is against E.P. Jairajan, who holds the position of a convener of the less democratic front. Now, E.P. Jairajan has been alleged to have uh, uh, been part of a resort, a huge palatial Ayurvedic resort in Kanno district, and the allegation is that he owns it now through his pyramid. This has uh, been alleged none other than by another tall leader of Kannur uh, Jairajan, another Jairajan, P. Jairajan. So after this allegation came, the, what is what what is witnessed within the CPM is that the leadership has been silent about it. And E.P. Jairajan has clearly peeved in the way the silence of the leadership and not supporting him in this manner. So E.P. Jairajan has now uh, stated that he is ready to resign from this position. At the same time, the followers and the... Uh, the, uh, the supporters of E.P. Jairajan has come forward to allege that, in fact, another uh, CPM leader, P. Jairajan, is in fact in cahoots with the uh, people who are doing coal smuggling and other uh, uh, other businesses which are illegal. So there has been a much slinging that is going on. Clearly, the CPM leadership at a split at a time when the chief minister is also completely silent about the issue. Meanwhile, the Congress has stated there should be a judicial uh, uh, investigation in this matter and a commission must be set up while the BGP has come forward to state that there must be an enforcement directed investigation because the allegations levels are huge in scale, especially uh, uh, owning a resort and also uh, allegations that there is uh, the, one of the top leaders are involved with the gang members who are doing gold smuggling illegally into the country. So clearly CPM is in trouble in the state of Kerala. What needs to be seen is whether the leadership will support E.P. Jairajan or really let him resign from his position. If he resigns, it will be a big embarrassment for the party as well. All right, uh, Ashwin there uh, giving us uh, a perception into what really is going on in Kerala when it comes to these graph charges uh, now, viewers, where in fact uh, the BJP has demanded that there needs to be an investigation that needs to be carried out by the Enforcement Directorate. And on the other hand, we also see that the Congress Party has demanded a judicial probe into this entire matter as well. And of course, we had seen where at a public rally where... Uh, P.J. Rajan had been addressing and had stated that there is a rot in the party as well and that there are people in the, the party cadre, in fact, that has been making the wrong choices and they will be dealt with as well. 
And now we see these graft charges being brought against the CPIM-led LDF coalition convener, that is the EP Jayarajan as well. This is a big story that we are tracking out of Kerala.